opinion the opinion of Dr. Pedro Luis Ripoy Pablo Garcia the injury that Eden Hazard picked up in August didn't help him settle into the Real Madrid setup as many were expecting him to. When you come to one of the biggest clubs in the world to occupy the throne of a superstar like Cristiano Ronaldo, the expectations are as high as possible. His case raises questions over many topics to do with a footballer's physical shape which are commonly accepted, like the idea that those with the most muscle and power give maximum performance. Each player has an ideal physical shape and it's the individual physical preparation that is adapted to the morphotype of the player that should prepare them to be in ideal shape. Muscles aren't for me, I want the ball and to play, Hazard said in 2017. Despite what many people think, each player requires a different physical profile to achieve their optimum shape. More muscle doesn't necessarily mean more speed or more resistance. If we force a muscular hypertrophy on a player that's never had it, we'll undoubtedly end up with a high rate of injury and loss of ability to maintain top physical shape. It could mean losing this spark, above all in natural dribblers like Hazard. Another thing is maintaining weight limits that are calculated for optimum performance. Here, there are no excuses, the data doesn't lie and Hazard is now in a phase of improving performance. In physical preparation, like in any other science, generalizations are often inaccurate. We're in an era of data and the study of morphotypes of players, which means systems like Go5D must orientate adaptation for training sessions, with which the rate of injury decreases dramatically. These new perspectives are apparently complicating this, but, in reality, they're simplifying them. Let's block ads. Why?